there's economies um, and in choosing the right span and the right or the right base spacing for the various spans. And in the lightweight buildings, where we are screwing purlins down onto or into a lightweight section as a purlin, there's limits on screw fixings. The screws want to pull out of the steel, the screws want to pull out of the lightweight steel. And we've found in the past that um, the most practical, the most economical or optimum spacing for the lightweight steel is generally up to 6 metres. We have base spacings of 4.5, 6, we can go 5.5, we can go 6.2. It just depends on basically the economies of using a top hat section. What we try and do is, is to optimise the portal frame, optimise the purlins and optimise the cladding. So when we design these buildings, what we generally start with is we look at the cladding, the material that the client might want. And we optimise the spacing of the purlins to suit the cladding. Then we optimise the length of the purlins to suit the purlins. And that sets a most economical spacing for our portal frames. And then we design the portal frames specifically for that particular load and that particular spacing. And in this way, the buildings are done in a logical um, sequence. The design is done in a logical sequence, but the result is the most economical building we can produce for that particular span and height. Uh, what we've also found is that with the lightweight building, we're not restrained or not the lightweight buildings, we are able to provide all different shapes. If we want to have a pitched roof, we can have a pitched roof. We can have a lesser pitched roof. So we're not constrained by the pitch degrees. We can also have a lean-to. And on any one of these buildings, we can have overhanging eaves. We can have verandas. Um, we're not limited to shape, but certain shapes are more um, optimum shapes than others for the structural member and therefore the costs. How, how does the McBuilt steel building stand up to uh, working with concrete tilt panels, concrete block walls, mezzanine floors, overhead gantry cranes, these sorts of industrial type uses in a lightweight steel building that you've designed for McBuilt, yes. how does that all work in together? Yeah. What we find is again depending on um, requirements that might be fire requirements, we might be near a boundary and we might need to provide tilt panel walls on the side of the building as part of the cladding or in, in some instances maybe two walls, three walls. We're able to support tilt panel directly off the building frame. The way we design it is clearly if, there is, if it's designed as a tilt panel for a fire situation the panel has to cantilever from the floor so or, or the foundations. So what we find is that the tilt panel um, building is the tilt panels are supported by the building frame, whether it be lightweight or heavy, but they're also supported by the foundation beam and they cantilever from the foundation beam. But there is no um, there's no restriction on wall claddings to lightweight buildings.